though I have uh, already moved around quite a bit on the big ship, I still uh, managed to get the hilariously disoriented. Huh, where do you put those interiors? Oh, ah, come on! What happened? I died. Oh. Tell us all about it. Ooh, I see a corpse flying past. <laughs> At a very high speed. Oh. <laughs> I went flop. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> uh, down. More or less. He's out of sight now. It might be an idea to set up a beacon on the thing. Meteor storm. Because now I don't know where we are. Meteor storm. Yay. My favourite. I'll see about a beacon. Yeah, I don't know where we are. Well, this could be ours. Is that ours? Well, that's not disorientating in the slightest, is it? Holy <laughs> shit. a very good landmark. Gives you an idea of where you gotta go away when you can just run down onto that little runway, deactivate the gravity and everything's sweet. Yep. Okay, right, is this one stopped? This ship is stopped. Yes. Grab this real quick. Excellent. Awesome! And it came out in one inventory. Excellent. I couldn't have asked for better. I'm in quite an irritated mood, if you couldn't tell. Working in three dimensions. Apparently, my brain doesn't work so well with that shit. It was bad enough in Minecraft. What are you making me do now? Chill out, brain. <laughs> like, what is this? I don't know. I, I just can't know. That's how my brain's reacting right now. Yep. Like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> Meteor storm inbound. <laughs> right, for the time being, I don't need my drill. Well, I do need my grinder. Gyro. I do want some of the steel plates and I do want the gravity system. Which you will provide to me. No arguments, no fuss. And that's the final word. Mm-hmm. I'm the one who knocks. Just making an offer and can't refuse. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Family style. 
The family in space! I swear to God, if this ship stops moving, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm just, I'm done. At least now it's got a cockpit. So if it does go missing, I can bring it back. Handy, we've got all these life rafts available to us, but I think this is gonna be my last one now. I've learned my lesson. This is my extra life, and then that's that's it now. I can't spawn no more in. If I die, I've got to spawn back on the med bays. Which, to be fair, wasn't set for me. Otherwise, I don't think it would have given me the option to come in here. got a working gravity module though as well, haven't you? <laughs> it kind of helps if you ever get disorientated, you can just press X and it will sort you out and put you back on the right path. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, fair enough, well then. <laughs> okay. The music in this game. Just too much. <laughs> done! 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 I hired an entire orchestra just to get their point across. <laughs> find reactor components we have tons of them oh do we oh I've got 70 here this is probably because I was I was wondering why I couldn't move a small reactor from my ship onto my platform without needing more parts but apparently I, I've, I've put them into storage like a clever numpty computers 
That's just the way it is, man. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Pow. Okay, that's good, isn't it? That's job done. If I dump this back in here. How are our fuel reserves? Not a clue. Well, that uranium rod just fell out of the back of the ship and is long gone, so I need to return to the mothership to recharge. Do -do -do -do. It's all measured in liters in this game. They give both. They give uh, weight and uh, volume. Yeah, but everything's measured by volume for oh, okay. storing things. This is just stone here, isn't it? This isn't. I can't actually find any uranium on this uh, asteroid, to be honest with you. There is one, uh, one asteroid with huge uranium deposit. Uh, oh, is it? The deposit is on the other, uh, like on the other face, uh, the side that's facing away from us. Destroyed at all.
I'll be right back. These solar panels aren't doing us any good because they're not in the sun. I think we're facing away just the just the least optimal angle. We're hiding from the sun. Because mm -hmm. that's where meteors come from. Okay. We're using the asteroid as a shield. Mm. There's not much we can do to save the power. Oh, no, you want interior plates, do you? So. Oh, okay, all medical components installed. Medical room is finished. Yay! Wait, who's medical room? Hmm? Which one? The one in the reactor room. Is there another one? No, oh, that's mine. You need one each. No, that only, oh, only works for okay. me. Okay, so, uh, for uh, respawn points, okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, the ship only has two sides, so I don't know where the third one's going. Uh, put the third one in the middle in the uh, command room. I return. Oh, it's chilly. It's cold in space, man. <laughs> <sighs> It's like a refinery, but it's a lot quicker, but only for certain materials. Ah, uh, okay. Namely, iron, cobalt, and nickel. So that means I can move all the those things over to the arc furnace. And have them processing at the same time. Oops. <laughs> um... We don't have much ore anymore. We need to get mining soon. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're out of iron completely now. Uh oh. Uh, I think. I, I can fetch some by hand. Oh, we need nickel. That's oh no, we're okay for iron. Sorry. Oh yeah, I brought in some and put it in. Somewhere back in the queue. Mm. Even some nuggets left. Inventory. We could do with a little bit more iron, but it's mainly nickel and silver we need. I like this sort of uh, drawer like shelf here. Hmm? Uh, the, uh, the platform the that was the one. Yeah, that was here already. 
I removed one to put this beacon in. Mm. I need stupid tools. I can't remember which set of asteroids we're at. Um. We're, uh, it's a donut shaped asteroid with a uh, uh, jelly bun in the middle. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I see it. Oh, yeah, I kind of get ya. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like. Uh, it is not the regularly shaped. The one that we're at, uh, it is uh, quite alone. It doesn't have many smaller pebbles around it, uh, but it does have a, a huge uh, red spot or splash around it. I get the, you, I get you. The donut, uh, we have two donuts in our visual. Very soon, hopefully, it won't matter because. Hang on, let me just grab that out. Oh. Yeah, um, very soon Where we should have a beacon set up. It's alright, I'm back now. Okay. I made it back. Okay, right now we had iron. Uh, is there anything else that we absolutely need in small quantities? Uh, you, you've got, we've got uranium, haven't we? Yes. I just went and grabbed the load, but I need to grab my refiner out of this doodad and put it on the platform. Ah, oh, uh, if I start filling your box here, will that be acceptable? Which one? The one on the plat? Are you talking to me? Yeah, the platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Then uh, I can store some extra ores in there. Sure yeah, I think what way. we need to do is between the three of us build at least one mining ship. Yeah, I'm. Yes. Well, I don't I'm, think we need one each. I'm gonna. I am gonna get on with the mining ship as soon as I got this platform ready because I d I did start a mining ship, but it drifted off into space. Put some anoxide, uh, put some iron in your box. Oh, thanks. Because then I can just grab more. Yep. It's handy afterwards. Go grab it. Take some big ship. But you have no uranium. There are some in the uh, in the refinery. Oh, I don't need to drill. There should be some in this ship. Oh, hang on, no, that's what I wanted to do, innit? I wanted to put the refinery over here, so I need a platform for that. So... Nuxie, do you need power in this ship anymore? Which one? This one. No, I don't think it's got power though, I think that's the reactor that I took out. Uh, what happened to the uranium? It drifted off. Because mm. I started disassembling it and then realised yes. and then I couldn't put it back together in time. Um, right, I am looking for steel plates. That's perfect. That's probably more than enough. Oh, I have a feeling my cat and my dog are going at it. Stop that fiend! I may have to go deal with this. Oh, yeah, it's on. 
<laughs> All right, so I will be right back because my animals are failing to get along. Okay. <gasps> Beacon. Awesome. Aha! Bacon. Meanwhile, I have a handy cane for uh, uh, chopping out the uh, meteor storms and such. <laughs> Oh, you're Sif here, the asteroid shielding ship. Hmm. And it's uh, such a small distance between them that uh, even if there was some, I don't know, some anom anomaly. <laughs> We really need is a neck. Iron in the arc furnace. Iron in the arc furnace. You'll see it in the list of inventories there. The arc furnace can do iron, cobalt, and nickel, but it does them a lot quicker, and it's more efficient. Whatever that means. I don't know if you get more iron per ore or if it's mm -hmm. energy efficiency or what. Mm -hmm. It's somehow more efficient. I don't need to know how it works. <laughs> as long as it, it just does. works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's working. That's all I need to know. I return, and I bring food. Would you like some? <laughs> yes, please. Ooh, you got the reactor working, which means the gravity's on, which means jetpack off. Excellent work, guys. All you needed was a little fuel. Yeah, boy. You were just too lazy to go and get some. I went, I went to another asteroid to pick up uranium, thank you very much, and I was just in the process of moving my refiner over. <laughs> We have a refinery set up on the ship. I know. Well, I think we should keep it centralized, otherwise, we'll be running back and forth looking for materials. Does this one have it, or does that one have it? Or? This is just for building the um, ships off. Yeah. That's what I can't place to work on. The big ship closer. Nice thing is you're probably on the ship again. He's so groovy. <laughs> oh, you set a beacon up as well? Mm hmm Oh! I'm going to sort the animals out, come back and bang! Oh, it was set up before you went to get the oh, animals. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember shouting bacon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Big and properly set up. Bacon! <laughs> I love it. Bacon, away we go. Mm. But first, what? I need your help with something. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't love bacon. Um, yeah. We need to just avoid it. <laughs> we just need, need to avoid yes. offending, no. possibly offending anybody who doesn't like bacon. The idea of people not liking bacon offends me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing is that I, I, I am the well, I'm physically capable of eating it, but I can't stand uh, fatty meat. I, mean, I only eat lean meat, and in bacon they are inseparable. I'd never eat gammon if I were you. That stuff's eat pretty what? fatty, isn't it? Gammon. No. Uh, this is something I've discovered yet. You know New Zealand doesn't have gammon. They just have ham, don't they? There's no such thing as gammon in New Zealand. It's just a ham. So uh, when I say gammon to people and they sort of say, mm -hmm. I, I understand now. Yeah, gammon's like a really big bit of pig fat, basically. A big pig meat, rather. Okay. Pig fat. It might as well be pig fat. Oh, energy low. You have no reactor. I mean, I uh, I certainly do enjoy the uh, flavor. Like, for example, uh, making some potatoes in uh, in wood stove, and uh, if, if the bacon is spread all over them so that the fat drips on the on the potatoes, that's cool. But I don't like the stuff itself. The, uh -huh. It's it's not a good taste, it's a texture. <laughs> the way it squeaks under your teeth, <laughs> you can't stand it. It's like you're supposed to kill it first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I don't like? Talking of squeaking under teeth. Oh. When you get a bit of cloth and you fold it over and then bite it and grind your teeth across the top of it. There are people who are watching this video now who are freaking out because they know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, no, shut up! Stop! 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 It's horrible! Why would they do There's only one thing worse than I can think of. Tin foil. <laughs> Tin foil. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Just, just don't. <laughs> oh, you just be sat there eating a nice Kit Kat, and then bam, you forgot to take the wrapper off, and Ooh. you electric shock for you. Ooh. You get zapped. <laughs> that's, that's also like that can be actively harmful. There's that. That's all right. I spent my youth licking batteries. That's not really harm. <laughs> Scratch your, you can scratch the tooth. It's debatable. Oh, fillings meant like fillings in this day and age. Like you get um, what are they made out of? Because the stuff they're made out of is not very good, is it? A mouth. No, there's another one. Some are porcelain, some are some sort of composite. Resonance. I want to say mercury. <laughs> yeah, but the no fillings aren't made of mercury, not anymore. Yeah, I want anyway. to say mercury. <laughs> uranium. Uranium. <laughs> Weapons grade plutonium. Always keep a little uranium in your pocket. <laughs> mm. That is the um, moral of this game. Yeah. So Always if, keep if some fuel grade uranium with your kids. <laughs> The, uh, moral if you don't of, plan uh, on having it. If the moral of uh, the was this, uh, plague incorporated was to wash hands, <laughs> you always keep some uranium on you. Mm. Man, that game is so messed up. I'm not even joking. <laughs> You sit there playing it and you're like, yeah, I am an evil person for enjoying this. But then you're like, ah, but it's just a game. No harm, no foul, you know? I do feel quite bad. Oh, there we go. I've got it at the right end. How am I going to do... Oh, I can go into this mode. Okay. So let's park it where I want to put it. And then I want to rotate it. Not like that way. Okay. Yeah, what was the... <laughs> what was the disadvantage back in the day of not putting silos down? 
in Command and Conquer. What was the disadvantage? Uh, I think you couldn't, maybe you couldn't refine stuff, uh, or the refining was slowed down if you were producing too big of surplus, maybe? I don't know. Oh. I never had too much uh, Tiberium, hmm. so <laughs> I wouldn't know. I know this feeling well. <laughs> yeah, it might be more that you can't like, order loads and loads of units at once. Oh, yeah, that's because of it them. creates a buffer, maybe. Delightful. Hello, DG. Hello. I'm stealing all your iron. Do it. See, not such a crazy idea now, is it? What's what's crazy idea? <laughs> Everything I do, <laughs> from from day one to day end. I'm just going to put it in the uh, arc furnace over here and refine it very, very quickly. I don't need it for anything, but it's sitting there, so I may as well refine it. This ore is useless. <laughs> I obviously every time I just tap this with my... Oh, is it because I've got stuff in my inventory that I don't need to have? Oh, look at this! The hole on the top allows me to put things in from above. From above! From above! Just from above. It does occur to me that uh, someone to lunch for a while ago, which I ignored. Uh, I think maybe I should go check it out. That we uh, that we ins installed. Are those small blocks or large blocks or something else? Uh, large. So basically, any anything that goes on a big ship has to be large. Not necessarily. Oh. There's large blocks and small blocks for large ships and small ships. So there's four combinations. Program for block. Space is weird. If you go under all blocks, it's the fifth row down, fourth from the left. Found it already. Or are you programming things? Yeah. I'm gonna go looking for nickel. Page up, page down, home end, and circle. Still, it is not symmetrical. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. But it doesn't. It won't lay the block down unless I have uh, components. Yeah, you need uh, like the first component to start up. That should tell you. Uh, the ones that are on the bottom are the ones needed the most, or...? Uh, usually, it's the... Okay. So, interior plates and construction components. Oh, for Yeah, sure. the interior, interior plate mm -hmm. actually plays blueprint down. Uh, I think uh, it also finished up uh, with adding a few last interior and it wouldn't add them before the very end bit. Ooh, Nox is welding in the space. 
as per my fetish. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got a working refinery now. That's kind of neat. So I, so we've got two refineries now. One for shipbuilding and one for the, on the main ship. And if you guys ever want to use this one, you are more than welcome to. Might speed some processes up, which we need. Do you need any assistance, sir? Who, me? Well, floor <laughs> isn't a sir. So. This is true, but it's quite a generic term. You're a generic term. Like when I bust into the Skype chat, I'm like, ladies. Obviously, I don't mean you're a lady, DR. I'm being fishy. Fish that. Fishy. Fish I'm being. Yeah. I'm being fishy. Sh 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 well done. Sometimes I use really long words to make myself sound photosynthesis. <laughs> right, I need to come borrow your ship for a second. I don't have a ship. Well, you've got this uh, big device that provides power for all of those who are stupid enough to let their energy get low enough. <laughs> it's the magic box of power. Sit here for a while, so I hope no one needs to recharge. <laughs> sit here for two minutes while I roll this off the video, so my viewers aren't like, "What? What's going on?" Although they probably know. Let's be honest. They've seen the live streams. You have used 15% of your fuel. Oh, I'll jump out in case anyone needs to get in there. No, I mean on your platform. Your reactor used 15%, but I put in. Oh. Well, that's not too bad. More interior plates. Oh, I still have two. Bacon! Yeah. <laughs> Weird, the uh, 
crafting system in this game. I like it though, I think it's easier than Minecraft. You don't have to know recipes for games like this. Which is handy. Well, you kinda do. You need to know what you can to bring with you. Well, yeah. But you can run back and forth, it's not quite the same. So much adventure is gonna blow your tiny mind, Pop! Yeah. That seems to be an excessive amount of adventure. <laughs> Large block. Looks awesome. Large block. Yeah, I think it's, it's a piece of armor. Ah, light armor block. It's the uh, sort of um, hmm, mid construction view. And the graphics are quite pleasing to the eye. It's sort of uh, unpolished metal and kind of like gritty middle of uh, do that. To be fair, this game hasn't really put a foot out of line yet. I think this was a good purchase. When I when I started playing Star Maid, I thought, yeah, this is cool, but, do you know what I mean? You get that sort of, this is cool, but sort no. of sentiment. Whereas with this, I, I, but I think the, this is cool, but, might have been, been because of the uh, Minecraft background and how I'd sort mm -hmm. of like, this has all been done before, the squares mm -hmm. and everything, whereas this is pretty cool. Like, yeah, squares are a thing, but they're more just as a building, like, they're an easy thing to build with. Whereas the asteroids and all stuff that they can get away with making all funky shapes they have. So, I think that's pretty neat. But they do need to add planets. I think that's a big thing that Star Mate's got over this, is the, the planets. Even if they're just massive asteroids, really. That you got, that you can walk around all the way around. Still. Well, I suppose you could make an asteroid India plan if you built a station inside with a reactor and a spherical gravity generator. Desk out soon as well. When I finish up with the second uh, medical unit, then I'm gonna take a little uh, eating break. Oh, small steel too, of course. Why are we building two medical labs? Because you need one each. Do you really need one each? Yeah. Oh, holy shit! I thought you could all just share the same one. No, it's one per person. Oh, that gives me... So when I go to do the uh, route, the crew rooms on the Gathram, at least there's a reason to put stuff in them now. They're not just empty rooms. They can have respawn points in them. That'd be neat. Yeah, but the respawn point has to be placed by the person who's going to be using it. Yeah. Just... <laughs> Uh, 
I just had a little thought to myself then. Yes, give me give me two minutes. I'll find you a, a crew of five normal people and two reclaimers. No problem. You know, I think you can join this ship to a station. This one here. The big one. Oh, that'll be cool. And this is technically a station up here. So if you want to test it, be my guest. <laughs> I am sort of making a little walkway area here, a little platform, so... Oh, I've lost my ashtrays again. Why does this keep happening? Last week it was lighters, now it's ashtrays. Go for it. Pack your business in. Say again? Shift change? Hmm. This and the fact that I moved my room around the other day. My room, I moved my room around the other week and I've been waking up in really bad mood recently. So I think Feng Shui oh, might, might have altered me Feng Shui a little bit. Or maybe your brain is, uh, has trouble adjusting to the new, new situation. My brain? And that's... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me too much credit, dear. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Okay, and now I need medical components and work. Far too much credit. Yeah, but it hasn't crashed, has it? And that's the main thing that we all want to take away from this experience. Hmm. With this uh, kind of runway welcoming platform thingy here. Uh, could we put some uh, some uh, lights here as well? I mean the landing lights. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because the beacon is helpful and everything, but uh, uh, with some extra indication. Like, uh, the beacon's good getting you to a general area, but lights would be good to guide you to a certain area. Yeah, exactly. Should be someone lying about somewhere. Let's get medical. Actually, let's take the flight seat first. Oh, I can do this all in one hit, can I? Nice. Yeah. Wonder what the hell is going on there. Your gravity is interfering with the ship's gravity. Oh, Mike, the gravity of the yeah. platform. Well, that's handy. I just did that all in one shot. That's neat. Um, right, let's G up the flight seat. How? Spin that bugger around. we plow! Now, I need to do... What was F? F is like an, a weak jump. Interesting. Right. Let's see that and also let's get that No, it's pretty much the same. It's an ordinary jump. If I was going to build a flight seat, I'd definitely put motors in it. Why wouldn't you? All of these uh, parts look rather, like, hard, as opposed to like, there's no like leather, is there? When you build a flight seat, you're not, you don't have to go kill something and mine its fur out or whatever and use it as the mine seat it. covering and that. Yeah. Mind them resources. Right, T. Uh, uh, -huh. uh where will gold go for uh for processing? It's cool. Alright, uh, refinery. Refinery. Okay. Regenerator, blah blah blah, small cargo container, small reactor. Excellent, excellent! Everything is working as planned. I've now got energy. Mo -ha -ha -ha. 
some more time and we'll be able to build ships. So, okay, and then, yeah, and I'll get rid of my welder for now as well, just to get rid of all this. Mmm, get in range, there you go. I will sit in the hole until the worst of the meteors passed. I think we're on quite a good side for it, to be honest with you. Yeah, but I'm sort of at the... Exactly at the corner of the asteroid where uh, okay. you might get a little bit too far, far out. Nux, how hard would it be for you to flip that platform over? <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, I'm just looking at it. It's right at the top of the asteroid. So if I line this platform up with it, the ship will be sticking up above. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I get ya. Uh... I don't think I'm going to bother combining them, but I can bring it close and just have them sort of lined up. By the way, won't the asteroids? Uh, yeah, rotate? I think the asteroids move and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Because if you if you spend a little bit uh, more time away from the ship and start returning, then uh, then the angles are all are kind of uh, Yeah. So you just give it a few months, and then yeah, <laughs> the platform will be upside down. <laughs> That's it. Carrying 800 tons in volume. Is it tons? I don't know what that means. Liters. Oh, is it? Li oh, okay. And metal grids are apparently very heavy. <laughs> Go figure. Hmm. or something. Mm. How much can this thing store? Oh, 31,000. Okay, well that probably enough to pack down this ship. Like an Iron Maiden. Well, there is a spike in this uh, in this cavern, so <laughs> you're not too far off. Oh, by the way, I, I read recently that uh, the Iron Maiden wasn't the real thing. I mean, it wasn't the real thing uh, from the time it was claimed to be. It's just that in the 19th century, some fellers just sort of invented an ancient quote-unquote ancient device. Error. <laughs> mm. It's not a very good torture device. I imagine if you put someone in it, they would die as soon as you closed the door, and you would get no information from them whatsoever. Oh, but uh, who says information is the goal? Still. Control is the goal. It's like, why put a person in prison? I think the idea there is that I think the idea there is that the spikes are small enough to uh, cause uh, pain and uh, and stress, but uh, but not quite enough uh, to kill. But yeah, in any case, it, it wasn't an actual device. Just some some fellers said, "Oh, wouldn't it be nifty if, if people at that time would have used something like this?" Let's say they did. <laughs> 
purposely to scare people. I've got to put my medi bay up then, eh? Uh, med! Right. Yes, that is exactly how I want to place my med bay on its side. Um. Uh, what? Oh, there we go. storage down that's cool. components, okay, this is the last stretch now, I think, and then more interior. So, where are the medicals? There they are. They say that there are three things that you can observe indefinitely. One is grass growing, two is paint drying, and the third is another person working. <laughs> 